Okay, so set up obviously key. I think the, the problem we had initially was your shoulders would aim way to the left. Yeah, you yeah. put the ball basically outside your left, which I, I understand if you're skying it and the ball to the right, it makes sense just put the ball further you forward and try and hit it further go, yeah. left. The problem is if the ball's over there, your hands are going to try to almost reach that goal point. That's where you're getting the problem with the arms sort of dragging the handle mm -hmm. through at this end and the club head just lagging miles behind it. Okay, so you can see on this one here now, just about to see your left shoulder done. As the club starts going back now, we can see that your shoulders are pretty square there at the centre. On the first few things, we saw the shoulders were aiming a lot further left, OK? So the takeaway now is decent. The rotation is good. Top of the back, so we're in a really, really good position. You turn that right out of the way nicely. From here now, I think the feeling for you is almost that kind of like flick. The flick. It's not a flick, but <laughs> yeah. that's... Like, that's again, I don't care. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What people feel and what is actually happening can often be two different things anyway. <laughs> so it's basically an unhinging of that wrist there. Okay, so you start coming back down here now. Once you get to here now, that club's got to be unhinging. You've got a nice release of that club from here. As we get back to the golf ball now, right arm, wrist and club have kind of like released back to impact. And one thing we'll see when you do it correctly is the fact that the left elbow now is bending and pointing downwards and the club can finish over your shoulders nice and easily, which then results in the ball flying fairly straight. Now, at the moment, the last four or five, you were guessing it, so yeah. you might want to sort of play it today and see how it goes. Is it four ball better ball today or foursomes, or what's the four more? Alternate shot. So it's foursomes, yeah. so it's probably going to be more just keep the ball in play. Yeah. Foursomes, you don't win matches, the person yeah. loses it. That's yeah. basically where foursomes have, goes in. Yeah. And you're only as good as your bad paid player, yeah? So yeah. if you're in the fairway every single time, ricking at the green from there, yeah. you're going to be a tough team to beat. If you're in that and you're one in three is good, the other two are like lost balls, you're giving two holes. Yeah. And that's the thing, it's, it's hard to win holes, you just don't lose holes in fours, just keep the ball in play, which is probably what we're going to look at. If you start maybe getting down, you've got to start being a bit more aggressive, then maybe think about, okay, well, I'll give it a go and see what you need to try and do and stuff. But that's sort of just playing the situation through the round. But as I say, the feeling for you now is the body's actually going to be quiet and I would practice that drill we showed you where you get back into that impact with the upside down club and you've got to try and make some sound and some swish, yeah? To make that swish, that wrist is basically unhinging like it would be, say, throwing a ball or skimming a pebble. Yeah? Everything's bent and hinged in and you go and just release it through. If you just drag, 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 yeah. it wouldn't go very far, would it, yeah? And that's why when you were sky in the one, again, I asked that question more so just for you to perhaps realise where you were trying to adjust and not maybe making it, making it any better. Yeah. But the thought of the ball going way up in the air up here, you felt as though you were just sort of hanging back and flicking at it. When in reality, the sky you're driving, it's the marks on the club. The only way you can get there is by just dragging it. I think it was making it worse here. in my head what I was trying to do. What you were saying, in theory, mm. I was doing that more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like yeah, yeah. yeah, because so. you're definitely pulling that handle through. So that club's got to catch up. So post-impact, we're not going to see it as much from here as much, but if we release that club through to there now, at least where the club head is there, your hands are here. That club head now is pointing back to kind of the this area here now where yeah. some of the pra even the practice movements you made you sort of get there and you sort of see your handle pull yeah. through with that left hand like I say with irons that works to a point yeah. you can strike it quite well you get your Fleetwood kind of movement there okay but the problem with the driver there just gets so steep on it and just yeah it's either big slices smothers left or skies yeah. which neither three are going to be an ideal option okay mate yeah. make sense